Hello guys and welcome back to my first actual adventure map I'm doing on the channel in its diversity. It's a Create the Monument game, you might have seen it played a few times by other people and you basically, you have, it's got all these different sections, you have to collect the wall for each section to complete the entire level, the entire game even. So we actually don't have anything in the chest, we need to get to the introduction first, but yeah, the basic thing is each of these levels, as you can see, has will have it, that coloured wool in it. You need to go into the level, complete the challenge, there's all various ones, like there's uh, an adventure room, an arena room, a trivia, parkour, escape, lab, labyrinthian, yeah, labyrinthian, a dropper, survival, puzzle and a boss battle. So we're going to do them in order. But we've obviously got to start with the introduction. But you've got to basically, yeah, you've got to go through each room and complete its challenge. Oh, insert wool into the chest. It's been taken up by a hopper. Analyzing item. And anything? Stand back. Oh, oh, that's it. There we go. Now you understand how to build the monument. So there we go, we are already, how many rooms is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh. So we've already like 1 11th finished. So, you know, we are making rapid progress already. Ah, oh God. Let's start with, a, should we really start with the puzzle branch? I can't see this going well at all. But no, well, so that wasn't the first one. Adventure was the first one. So let's find the adventure branch because we're going to go in order like that. The adventure branch right here. Orange wall. What? How did you just appear there? Could you, could the legend be true? Um. Oh. I don't know what. <laughs> I, th I don't know if that just teleported me then or if it was just a bit of a glitch. Ye old fishing shed. <laughs> Oh, lots of raw fish. Not oh, not majorly useful, but it's okay. We've got ourselves a fishing rod. What are you saying? Who are you kidding? We've got no arms to catch fish. Well, that's very true. So I could maybe attach attach this to you. No, nope, that was the wrong button. Do you think you could manage to pick that up? No. Okay, and what's uh, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Very insightful thoughts here. So these are quite possibly the worst. Look well, they're not the worst looking people, I suppose. Have you come in search of the holy wall? Yes. Yes, I have. The king is waiting for you. I assume that's this way. It's quite a cool castle. And we, uh, I don't even know what's going to be happening here. The king has been waiting for your coming. Do you believe in the legend? Yes, I do. Of course I do. Look at all these faces. I'm sure... I'm sure I should probably recognise... I don't know if these are people who help make the map or something, but... We are the king's royal bodyguards, and... And... Oh, <laughs> and I... Uh, will always love you... I'm such a good singer. Let's play. Could the legend be true? Have you come from the distant land to claim the wo the holy wall of Orangicity? Uh, I will bring you what you seek, but first, as the great legend says, you must prove your heroism. I am the good King Steve. Long have we waited for your coming. And now the day is finally here. To the far, far west is the evil zombie lord. You must destroy him, bring me back his head. I will take you to what you seek. Remember, with this scumbag's noggin, we can place it in the royal chest of beheadedness. And then I will know that you are the true answer to the prophecy. But beware, the road is not so easy, for those, for there are dangerous, clearly labelled obstacles along the path that few dare to even whisper of. Go now, and return when you have beheaded that meanie. I am sure that there are some weapons around here you can acquire if need be. And one last thing. The dreaded zombie lords will tell you lies. Don't believe him. Whatever he says, bring me his head. Uh, 
downstairs is the prison, but it's not open for visitors. So he said he did say there's weapons around here we could find. Where where might these be? I'm more interested in the weapons, to be honest. If this is an adventure, there is always going to be a need for weapons. Who are you? The king has offered to instruct you. Has instruction has offered instructed me to offer you these weapons. Oh. Get a full set of iron. Although you only have one set of legs, that's weird. And let's go with cooked chicken. You know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a full stack because I, I don't even think I don't think these people are gonna need it. Wow, what is going on with my mouse? Here we go. Let's go for a fishing rod. Uh you know what? I'm gonna give you some raw fish. That's a thank you. See? I'm not just uh I'm not greedy. Look, I'm all get get it, get it out now. Yep. And kitted too. So let's. I think we can get on with it. I'm just going to see what's up. What I'll just see what's up here. Because there's another person, and just on the off chance they might have a bow or something. Uh, I have nothing to say. I guess I just did. I just know how to push the king's buttons. Ha ha ha. That sounds vaguely erotic. So <laughs> I'm just going to leave. I'm not dealing with this. This is not something. That I want anything to do with. Have you spoken to the king yet? Yes, yes I have. If the lake doesn't swallow you, the dark forest will. It's that bridge of terror that scares me. Um, are these coming up? Oh no, the lake of drowned sorrows. No one could survive that. Uh, um. <laughs> The lake is going to swallow him. See, <laughs> look, that's because none of these people can survive because they don't have arms. Whereas, for the rest of us, relatively easy. That was, or there's always the option to, you know, just, just go round. I suppose. But hey, check me out on my superior swimming skills. I am the best. Uh, I barely made it through the lake. <laughs> Lost my limbs though. If no one survived, how did these signs get here? That is a very good point. Beware the dark forest of blackened skies. Plenty have entered. None have returned. Oh. <laughs> oh no. The skies have gone dark. It's not night time though, is it? So nothing, nothing spawning. Do we need... Oh, we need... We do need to turn here, don't we? Wait. Oh, I've just come from that way. Yeah, that makes sense. I actually, I managed to get lost on a straight line. So, there's that. There's that. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. So, I'm, I'm assuming that this is going to be the bad castle. Because it's made out of nether brick. Hey, <laughs> I'm the sign maker. Hi, sign maker. Beware the rickety bridge of terror. A few have stepped off. <laughs> oh, a few have stepped on. They suffered horrible fates. Um, you're lucky I'm over here and you're over there. Why? If I'm honest, I think I handled that pretty well. This is all well and good, you know. But I think I managed that. Surprisingly, I, I was quite good at that. Where he used to be just like them. Hmm. What do you want? Go away. Wow. People are a lot less friendly on this side. Back away. I'm sorry. Uh, you're not wanted here. <laughs> it's the wall that caused all of this. Back up. Well, this, these people are not friendly at all. We don't trust you. The curse is terrible. Wait. Don't kill me. Listen to what I have to say. Okay, Zombo. The king is a liar. Oh, his real name is Evil King Steve. And you're not the first to come to this land. Evil King Steve will never give up the holy wool of orangeosity, for it gives him power. No doubt he's told you of the phony legend how you're the answer to the prophecy. The truth is we are not zombies at all. The king cursed us with the Holy Wall's power to make us appear as such, so no one would trust us. I mean, you're not helping yourselves, really, in this castle. 
He, he will undoubtedly betray you if you do as he asks, as he has one of those, as he has with those so-called heroes before you. Listen, the evil king does not know that we have found a way to take the holy wall from him. There's an underground passage that we've had no luck because of the dangers. I'll make a deal. Bring me his head, and I'll give you access to the hidden passageways. Toss his ugly mug into the storage chest on my left. Okay. So we no. Hey, only one of us is telling the truth. It's not like we're going to eat your brains when you're not looking or anything. Mwahahahaha. Uh. <laughs> Storage chest for heads of kings who are meanies. And so you've been killed. So you've been sent to kill our lord over my dead body. Ha. Ha ha. It's funny because he's already dead. So. <laughs> you know what? I. It's a bit of a dilemma. But I do think, I believe, I do believe Zombo. I mean, I've killed many of your brethren in survival series. And it might have all been Evil King Steve's fault. Evil King Steve, I am returned for you. See, also, also to note, this guy has, has, a, has a gold block. Zombo had a diamond block. So Zombo, obviously, ranks a bit higher. In my books. What are you waiting for? Bring me his head. Um. Ha ha! I only, I only just realised that that's a minion. Wow. But so we are. Oh, we could have got a pickaxe because this gold block would have been quite useful. Or maybe I could be the new king. How does that look? I think I look pretty damn good if I'm honest. Well, maybe, maybe I should be there. There we go. I'm the new king now. <laughs> I will rule over this land. And all of those who seek the wall, orange wall of orangeousity. Woo! Or not. Because instead, I'm going to go and save the day. Let's come over here and see what some of these side characters have got to say. You always got little, you've always got a little time for gardening, right? No. Let's just head back to the main path then, if this is what we're going to be suckered into. No signs of zombies yet. I'm just going to completely break the rules here. And just walk round the dreaded lake of drowning gossity. Or whatever that place is called. Because we can do that. And I'm going to head back to the castle and dispose of Evil King Steve's head. And let's hope he really is Evil King Steve and not a... You know, I mean, this place, ha they have got... This side have got a much, evil, much more evil looking castle. I mean, it's a pretty awesome looking castle, if I'm honest. I mean, this nether brick is definitely a good material to be making a castle out of. There's someone up there. Should probably go and see what they've got to say. Does, we don't seem to have needed this armour very much, though. I, I was expecting some of these zombies to be real zombies. But let's, uh, the king's head. Thank, thank you for trusting me. My eyesight ain't too good, so I'll just assume that's the king's head. Oh, I could just put anything in there. You'll find the hidden passage be open below the rickety bridge of terror. So, so it's been there the whole time. Oh, wow. Uh, <coughs> let's head back over here then. Uh, oh, we've already spoke to some of these guys. So this is the rickety bridge of terror. Where's? Let's uh, find our way down to it. Is there already an opening somewhere? Just step it. Oh, oh, oh! Secrets. See what's down here then. Is this going to be our orange wool? Um, okay. I was expecting a wool room. Uh, can we really trust this one? Will the curse be lifted? Decapitating strangers seems pretty trustworthy to me. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, it's good to see you're on our side. Good luck. 
Uh, we've lit up most of the cavern until we run into some problems ahead. Ah, so there will actually be zombies spawning and other baddies. We could see an ancient door just past the bridge. Right, so. Cranberries had a really good song. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, uh, I can't remember. Oh yeah, that, yeah, I do know the song about you. Zombie. We'll be able to light up under the bridge, but I hate creepers. The sacrifice will not go in vain. Uh, maybe these ladders will help you across. Uh, thank you very much. So actually... <laughs> these are the worst creepers I think I've ever seen. Creepers blew up the bridge across. Right, so we need to find our way down. Oh, are we actually going to have to just drop down? Um. Uh. Oh, I thought these might have been pressure plates. Turns out they're not. So these fake creepers are absolutely awful. But that's okay. Because I'm not going to... It means that they're not going to be able to do me. Because if there's one thing I hate, it's being done by a creeper. You know what, I'm so lazy, I'm even going to put one there. That's how much excess ladder we managed to pick up. Ah. Ah. Is this, are we going to have stuff spawning? Had nothing really spawned here? I definitely expected it to. Oh, oh I was assuming that would be... A monster room. For those who seek, for those worthy enough who seek orangeosity, the three impossible trials way. You might as well just give up now and go home. Whoa. Oh, want to close. Oh, can't. Want to close that up just in case it has followed me, but Jesus Christ, look at the scale of this room. That's pretty impressive. Uh, trial 1. Advance beyond the unbreakable barrier. That's a, a, <sighs> so it's definitely, definitely unbreakable. There's no way we can go get through it. Um, trial 2. <laughs> So that <laughs> that was that was surprisingly easy. And as a side note, we also could could have, could I suppose just just so they can see that we've done it. There you go. That's I've passed trial one twice instead. Pass through the unending flames. Uh, so so that happened, <laughs> and. Trial three. Climb the really high ladder. Oh no! <sighs> I think I have to take a take a break. It's too much. Oh, look at the height. I'm at, actually, I'm not even as high as the entrance was. I've climbed it backwards. I was that. I'm that good. So actually, wait. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's actually the end of the ladder. There was me. Getting very confused. Not a clue. What oh, Jesus! I <laughs> I did actually get a little bit scared then. Oh, oh! I've got the. I have got the orange wall. Is that gonna analyse the item? Look at that! One down. Nine to go. What are we gonna be doing next? Well, the arena, obviously. But this has been the first part of Diversity. I am going to carry on and do a few of these. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time for the arena. Well, actually, next time we might be able to get the arena and the tri trivia done. There's a novel idea. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!